my beloved seniors, the Athens, to our junior Pentecostal High and Moriah Apostolates, and everyone who is in here right now, just one word that I want to share with everyone of you. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Um, to our faculty and staff, to the president of this school, to our vice president, to all our teachers, we owe it all to you. You are a great inspiration and encouragement for every one of us. To our pastors and friends, our parents, our families who are here, we truly appreciate you. We can never make it on our own, but we owe it all to those people who are here right now. And they deserve a clap and a thanks. Amen. We are a product of your support, your encouragement, and your help. And most especially to my forever classmate and beloved family, Fire Apostolos. Congratulations to everyone of you. Romans 11, 36, for of him and through him are all things, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. 1 Corinthians 15, 10, Paul said, and I want to say this as well, by the grace of God, I am what I am. Amen. It's just me for me. That without Jesus, we are literally nothing. Jesus is the reason why we're here. And He's the only reason why we're still existing. Yes. To fulfill our God-given mission. For in Him, we move. And we have our being. I want to honor the people who believed in me and trusted me in all of these years. And I am here because of every one of you. First, Pastor Mike and Sister Gina Lassamana who has trusted me and used by God instrumentally to be my sponsor for two years from my patient. Thank you so much. We become church in Latvia. God bless you. My church family, UPC Imus, who have given their offerings voluntarily. Yung gamay kang kasama ng papel na hapati. And to my surprise, hindi ko ako nagutong sa Bible School because of those people that God used to bless me. Thank you so much, UPC Imus. To my family and my friends who always supported me. I dearly love every one of you. Your encouragement and saying that you believe in me and I can do it, it really helped me. And of course, to my pastor who trusted me in the ministry and gave me and believed me in my calling. I don't know where I am if Pastor Abs is not my pastor. I am here because of that great man of God who prayed for me and who supported me in this ministry. Thank you, Pastor Hans. And for me, this achievement is, I dedicate this achievement for my beloved mother. My greatest inspiration and motivation in my life. She is the most important motivation to life to take me. Later, I'm going to testify something that changed my life forever because of Acts Bible School. December 2015, during Acts concert, Batch of Soul Seekers, was my first time to be here in Acts. At pagbabalang ban na kapatid, I felt a different presence of God that I never felt before. I cried, and God spoke to me and said, "I don't know if you're gonna believe me." But God said, this is the place where I'm going to use you and you're going to meet me and you're going to know me better than you know me now. And from that day forward, it's been five years ago now for me when I felt that call from the Lord and it's never taken away from me. But because of education, because of family, I have to do my work and my responsibility for them. But after that, in 2018, I can no longer bear the burden and the call of God and answer. And through all of those years, I can say God is faithful. Yeah. I am here because of the grace of God. His promises are meant to be fulfilled and not to be forgotten. Like Jacob, Acts has been my opinion. I've seen God face to face. There is a place where I don't just get knowledge, understanding, and know how to preach. Those are secondary things. But first of all, I've known Him better than before. I am closer now to Jesus than before. Intimacy is God's priority. 
So intimacy should be our priority. Sa aking mga classmate, para mga apostolos, it's been three years now. I mean, two years, maybe three years. Tayo ko talaga yung bats natin, mga kapatid. Hindi ko makakalimutan yun. Napakasaya ang mga experience natin. Simula sa walang katapos ang iluman ng papi sa class ko nung sa dorm. Mga utang niya sa SBO, hindi ko na magbayaran niya siya. Yung mga bayarin sa comedy, yung gulinggo. Na alam ko na hirapan tayo. Sa kantahan, sa yawan, sa pagpapakawa ni Iso. Oy! Sa mga kapalitan ng mga bisayang kapatid ko. Sa pagtulog ni Jaja. Sorry, Jaja. Sa hiling ni Nelson Tagra. At sa sikretong pasabog ni Jen na Dimina. Hindi, hindi ko kayo mga kalimutan. Hanggang sa araw-araw na inspiration ko ni Badger Jun. Kaya Jun, thank you so much. Ang aming mga kanaw ay naitama sa tulong mo. Sa mga preaching sa classroom, sa chapel, sa mga panalangin natin sa bawat isa, at sa pang-araw-araw ng devotion at pag-aaral sa kata ng Panginoon. Ang lahat ng bagay nito ay parte ng buhay natin. Hindi niya rin makakalimutan sa araw-araw ng ating paglilingkod sa ating Panginoon. Muli, para apostles, thank you so much. At sa ating mga malapit na kaibigan na hindi ako iniwan sa aking journey na ito, I could never make it without my friends that supported me and believed in me and prayed for me. Gamel, Brother Benz, Isao, and sa aking nag-iisa kapatid sa Bible School, Brother Josh, You are a gift from God, and I thank you for everything that you've helped me. For Pyro Apostolos, meron ako dito secret. This thing really helped me. This thing helped me and reminded me of the message of God, and I never, never imagined that it has it has a significance on my journey. In Acts Bible School. Saturday before going to Bible School, July 2018, my leader in youth group gave me this mug that says, Keep the Faith. By the way, here's the title of my speech today. Keep the Faith. On our first week in Bible School, I missed the first fire by fire when Brother Bodegas preached, Pastor Bodegas preached. Because for the first time, I passed out inside the school. Ako po yung matay mga kapatid. I've never been hospitalized before. Kaya hindi ko alam ba sa Bible School ay kakaiba po yung event sa akin mga kapatid. Unang Friday fire, last subject with Mount Ellie, bigyan lang po ako nang matay sa classroom mga kapatid. And I'm very discouraged that time and frustrated. I go home so dizzy. And Brother Lord is carrying me through ang makauwi po ng bahay natin. And when I go back, Here Sunday after a week, nakita ko rin mga mga kapatid, and with my discouragement and my frustrations, at ito na ako na mga mga kapatid, nakita ko at nabasa ko na lagay, keep the faith, and that simple word spoke to me until after this day to say to everyone of you, just keep the faith, keep doing the work. There's a point time to lang ako kapatid. Nagpunta ako ng Bible School and I only have literally, I don't know if you're gonna believe me, one peso on my wallet pag ito ko ng Bible School. As in peace na lang ako. May teacher ako din. Pwede ko may pakita in the future. And habang nasa bus, nakatayo ako mga kapatid. Wala akong upuan. Puno lahat ng upuan. At humingi ako sa Panginoon on my own. Naka-earful ko ako, Lord, you call me for this. And why this thing is happening to me? Bakit hindi na lang nasa ko na Please don't have to know about it after the Mahatma and Bible School. I'm so discouraged. And I feel, parang kawawa ako. The Panginoon, I left everything for you. But this is what I'm experiencing right now. And again, Sunday night, when I came to Bible School, iinom naman ako ng kape. Kaya advice ko, iinom naman ng kape na ako. Iinom naman ako ng kape. At nakita ko ngayon kung keep the faith na ako. So no matter, we are in the highs, in the lows of our lives, we are in the mountains, in the valleys, in the dark, in the light. We have to keep the faith. 
and keep moving forward. And from that day, no ako ay nilalim sa Panginoon. Naging maayos po ang mga kapatid, mga alamans ko ever again. God provided me miraculously everything that I needed. I even shared those blessings to my classmates. At akala nila nga ay mayaman po ako mga kapatid. Kutis mayaman na po ito. Sipin mo ba lang po mga kapatid. But salamat po sa ating Panginoon. Keep the faith. God is faithful to His promises. Meron po kong ito lang po nahanap yung isang picture. Pero last year, I mean, that's graduation ng Theophilus class, mga kapatid. By the grace of God, I am the top one in our class. And my mother went with me as well. At kung kami po ay may picture sa harapan. Siya po ay gata ng naka-pants, cut hair, colored hair, with accessories. Pero hindi ko po siya pinilit, mga kapatid. Pero God dealt with me And that's my prayer for the longest time, for a decade to be specific. I'm the first apostolic in the family, but I've been praying to God, Lord, I'm not going to graduate in Bible school without my parents being saved. And by the grace of God, for over 2009, I started my own Bible study with my own family. December 2009, they were baptized in Jesus' name. And February 2nd, I asked for the benediction of baptism of the Holy Ghost. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Is there anything impossible for the Lord? Everything is possible to them that believe by our apostles and to my beloved seniors, the apostles, to our junior Pentecostal Hackett and Moriah apostles, and to every staff and graduates and everyone who is in here right now. Just one word that I want to share with every one of you. Keep the faith. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. God bless you all and may you have a great day.